What's up fiends, Alucard here. Today, I have the Mardi Gras horror movies for you to stream. Most of them are free. All right, so coming up this Tuesday is Mardi Gras, which is a big celebration down in the New Orleans area and a couple other places. Um, but New Orleans is kind of the hub for Mardi Gras. And so I decided to look up some Mardi Gras horror movies for y'all to check out for the festivities. And like I said, most of the ones that I'm going to mention are free. I'm only going to mention one that is on a paid service. Um, so let's get to the list, shall we? All right. So first up, we have Hatchet from 2006. Uh, this is directed by Adam Green. It stars Joel David Moore. Dion Richmond, Kane Hodder as Victor Crowley, the um, the slasher, basically, of the movie. Um, Mercedes McNabb, uh, known for her roles in Buffy and Adam's Family Values. Uh, Parry Shen, who's in all of the Hatchet movies. Uh, Robert England has a small part, as well as Tony Todd. Uh, so what this movie is about is a group of tourists in the New Orleans area go on a haunted swamp tour and they find themselves uh, stranded in the swamp and they are stalked by a vicious serial killer named Victor Crowley played by Kane Hodder. It's a very fun movie. It's a great, great slasher flick. There are four movies in the series, um, but the first one called Hatchet um, does have a couple scenes, especially in the beginning of Mardi Gras festivities and uh, so the whole like beginning is all about Mardi Gras um, and it just kind of goes it, it all takes place I think on Mardi Gras day and night if I'm not mistaken um, but yeah so it's a it's a really good one to watch it's fun um, and it is currently streaming on Tubi and on Plex right, next up we have Autopsy from 2008 directed by Adam Girash hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm probably not. Um, and it stars Robert Patrick, uh, known from Terminator 2, and uh, Jessica Laundes. I think, again, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know. Um, people have weird names. They're not, okay, they're not weird names, but, you know, have unique names. So, anyway, Autopsy is about a young woman who tries to find her injured boyfriend in a bizarre hospital. And it takes place on Mardi Gras. So, uh, yeah, it, it was filmed in the uh, New Orleans area, I believe. Uh, so look for a few little things. And that one is streaming on Tubi and Plex as well. All right, next up is one to watch only if you really don't have any. I don't really recommend it. Uh, I, I did watch it a while back. Uh, I think last Mardi Gras I watched it. And it was, um, it's a little trying, but um, I don't know. I mean, I've seen worse. <laughs> but it's called Curse of Mardi Gras. It also has an alternate title of Voodoo Tales. And it's from 2002. It is directed by Daniel Zarilli, who's also in the movie. Um, and it also stars uh, Merline Williams and Moon Jones. I love the name. I love Moon Jones. That's a great name. I love it. Um, anyway, the movie is about a group of college girls that go to Mardi Gras. I'm sensing a theme here. I don't know. With the uh, hatchet in this one. And, and there's one later, too. Uh, anyway, it's a group of college girls that go to Mardi Gras. Um, and some of them start going missing. Like one, like one by one, they start going missing slowly. And the remaining girls begin to suspect that it is due to a cult. Um, and in the in the in the description of the movie, it says um, they suspect it's the work of the world's lamest cult. Yes, lamest cult. That is actually in the description of the movie. And let me tell you, this okay, this movie was made I think for about maybe a hundred bucks. It's so bad. Um, it's definitely a, like, like a half a star. Yeah. 
yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a complete bomb, but yeah, it's pretty close. So if you really want to watch a bad Mardi Gras movie, watch Curse of Mardi Gras. And it is streaming right now on Tubi. All right, next up we have Dracula 2000 from the year 2000, directed by Patrick Lussier. And it, this one stars a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of people, like a whole bunch of known people are in this one. Uh, Gerard Butler, Johnny Lee Miller, Omar Epps, Jennifer Esposito, Jerry Ryan from Star Trek, uh, Danny Masterson from that 70s show, and Vitamin C. Anybody remember Vitamin C? From <laughs> with her one hit wonder, she's in it too. She's actually she's actually not a bad actress, so I was kind of surprised. Uh, so anyway, Dracula 2000 is about a group of thieves that break into a chamber. Uh, they're looking for uh, paintings, I believe, but of course they instead they awaken the Count Dracula himself. So Dracula travels to New Orleans to find his to find Abraham Van Helsing's daughter to uh, like seek revenge. Um, this was uh, produced or executive produced, I don't remember, by Wes Craven. Um, I do remember seeing this one in the movie theaters, actually. And it was it's it's OK. Um, I'm not the biggest fan. I know a lot of people do like this one. There are and there are three movies in this series. This is the first one. Um, like I said, I remember being kind of OK, but not really liking it all that much. Um, I probably do need to do an actual rewatch on this one. Uh, but right now it is streaming on Pluto TV. All right, next up is another uh, like a B movie classic, um, and it's a classic because it's so bad. Um, it's Mardi Gras Massacre from 1978. Uh, it's directed by Jack Weiss. It stars Kurt Dawson and Gwen Arment. Yeah, like who are these people? I don't know, but that's the that's the two stars in the movie. <laughs> So anyway, it's a, it's a, the whole movie is a, is a police, uh, it's, it's a kind of like a police movie. Uh, the, the police try to capture someone who's committing all these ritual murders uh, of women during the Mardi Gras in New Orleans, of course. Uh, it was filmed in New Orleans. Um, I'm hoping to do a filming location of this one eventually, um, if I can ever get out there. Um, it is it's it is painfully slow. I'm not gonna lie, um, and not a whole lot happens. Um, there 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 are a lot of uh, like ritual scenes and the guy with the. If I find a picture, I'll throw it up. But like you know, he's holding the knife and you know, and it's it's all these like naked women and stuff. It's real bizarre and real. I don't know. It it, it seems like it's a TV movie with a lot of nudity. Like that's what it seems like to me. Um, but if, if you're a, uh, it was oh, and it was also a video nasty. It was on the video nasties list. If you're familiar with that, um, so if if you're a video nasty completist, uh, it's definitely a must watch. Um, it really should not have been on video nasty list. It was really nothing, all that crazy about it. But you know, whatever. But anyway, it is streaming on YouTube at the moment. All right, next up is something a little bit different. Um, it's called Night Trap from 1993. It is directed by David A. Pryor, and it stars Robert Davi, Michael Ironside, Leslie Ann Down, and John Amos from Good Times. Uh, this one is about a New Orleans cop, and he tries to track down and stop a vicious and demonic killer who has sold his soul to the devil. Uh, he sold his soul for to be like immortal and invincible and stuff. Um, it's a pretty neat little movie. Um, it is it is a cop movie, so there is a bunch of that stuff. Um, but this one's way better than Mardi Gras Massacre, and uh, it's it's a uh, highly entertaining. I I enjoyed it, and this one right now is streaming on YouTube. All right, and we're gonna do one more uh, free one that's streaming right now, and this one is a TV movie from 1976 called. The Savage Bees. It is directed by Bruce Geller or Jeller. I think it's Geller. Um, and it stars Ben Johnson and Michael Parks. 
All right, so this movie, this movie is pretty fun. It's a pretty fun little TV movie. Um, it's uh, basically a swarm of African killer bees escape a um, uh, a freighter and like attack New Orleans during Mardi Gras. Uh, yeah, it's a killer bee movie. It's a TV killer bee movie from the seventies. What more could you ask for? And it takes place at Mardi Gras. I mean, it's perfect. You know, got got my beads. Got my beads. I'm re I'm ready to go. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna watch this one again uh, for this Mardi Gras. So yeah, it, um, I'm looking forward to it. And it is streaming right now on YouTube. All right, and I, and I am gonna mention one more movie. Uh, this one is streaming on Prime uh, and Paramount Plus, which are both paid services. But I decided to add this one uh, because it's a pretty good one. So. And we're talking about 1995's Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh. This is the second movie in the Candyman series. There are now four if you count the remake, but this is part two. Um, so in this one, the Candyman arrives in New Orleans and sets his sights on a young lady whose family was ruined by Candyman years before. Um, it is directed by Bill Condon. And it stars the legendary Tony Todd, who was also in Hatchet, and Kelly Rowan. Um, now, of course, it's not as good as the original Candyman, but it actually, um, but it's, but it actually is a pretty good movie. Uh, I do recommend it. Um, and so, if you have Prime or Paramount Plus, go ahead and check it out. I think you will like it. There are a couple more uh, Mardi Gras horror movies that are not streaming anywhere at the moment. Um, but, uh, I will mention a few, um, there's Tightrope, uh, directed by Clint Eastwood from 1984. Um, it's not really, it's more of a thriller, I guess you could say that one is, um, but it is really good. And, uh, I do recommend it if you can get a hold of it. It's called Tightrope. And the only, and the other one that I want to mention is a very hard to find little movie, a little no budget movie called Zombie versus Mardi Gras from 1999. Um, it is, it's one of those like gross out movies. Yeah. Um, I've actually only seen clips. Um, I'd love to see the whole thing one day and one day I will, I'm sure. Um, but I did want to mention that one in case anybody's interested. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my Mardi Gras horror list today and I uh, hope you celebrate yeah, accordingly by watching bad movies about Mardi Gras. And <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out and subscribe if you are new. And I will see all you guys next time. Remember, stay spooky.